my Gemini, my Gemini, my Gemini, Gemini, yeah. What's going on, Gemini baby twins? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Gemini between the 16th and the 31st of October? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all grounding y'all selves? Working on it anyway? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all taking flight? Y'all taking flight? Y'all leaving? Y'all moving? Y'all finna ship some shit? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love uh, Tarot Channel. If this is your first time on my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out. I make us a little. I make us a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing is not for you, this is not your channel. And I love you long time. There are many, many, many beautiful readers on YouTube who be about their action. Okay? So, let's get it. This will be for my Sun Moon Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of July between the 16th and the 31st. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found below in the description. I currently have um, specials going on my personal reading so I made a separate video for that they're $15 off for my 30 45 and 60 minute sessions so save your shmoney and get your personal reading in I am available um I think that's all my announcements and we rocking oh all of my new subscribers welcome to the family y'all we're a little dysfunctional we, we we don't fight we don't fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do cuss okay we cuss but we do love we share, we grow, we enlighten. All right, it's about evolution and positive vibes only over here. I outside is unpredictable. I needed to bathe in sunlight today. I left the windows open. I don't know what the hell they're gonna do. Randomly, they may hunt horns. Just please try not to get distracted by that because I really needed that open right now. So I love y'all very, very, very much, and we finna rock. Okay, so your your spirit message. For the 16th to the 31st of October. A lot of you guys are in love. But the way you look at love needs to shift. Something is trying to die in order for something to be reborn. This Venus retrograde in Scorpio is going to be pretty uncomfortable for Gemini. Because both y'all getting ready to see both sides to them twins. The light and the darkness. Okay. For some of you all, you're needing to ground yourself. Because with all of this fiery energy that I feel. A lot of y'all are going to be hot and heavy during this month. This is going to be a very passionate time, okay? So your hormones may be off the charts. But what I do see also is a lot of you guys are really being true to yourselves. You're being true to the things that you're passionate about. I don't give a damn if you shaking in the strip club. Look, in, in, in the strip club, you shaking on the at the shaker spot in the strip club. If that's what you want to do with your life, it's about you not... You being you doing what the fuck you want to do unapologetically, okay? If whatever it is that you want to do, I do see Gemini's are going to be in a creative period during this time. I'm also seeing that a lot of you guys will be receiving spiritual downloads by being outside. Nature is going to bring you um a lot of information if you only just stop and pay attention to the synchronicities a lot of you all during this time may be seeing a lot of frogs okay frogs are symbols of abundance okay the fruits of your labor you're going to actually see them during this time it's karma season whatever you have put out is what you're going to receive back okay so definitely watch your thoughts during this time and watch your watch your intentions towards people okay even if you don't like them you don't have to like them in order to show them any respect you don't got to fuck with them at all but forgive forgiveness is a very 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 strong thing for gemini during this time because it's affecting the way that you love that you give and receive love a lot of y'all third eye is going to be pouring some of y'all may have um synchronistic dreams during this time you actually may find yourself having hella deja vu moments okay it's a soul remembrance time all right so wherever your intuition is guiding you for some of you all it's guiding you toward meditation videos because you're needing to be aligned there's a very 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 strong emphasis on your throat chakra during this time your throat chakra and your root chakra some of y'all may be having dreams about your family members dying or some of y'all may be having dreams about maybe you, you killing people or some shit. Um, and it's not for you to beat yourself up or, or for that matter think you're a horrible person, okay? Spirit is letting you guys know that you need to let some things go in order for you to rise like the phoenix. Some of you all will be randomly moving. 
And I feel like you're going out in search to find your happiness and there's nothing wrong with that because I feel like a lot of you guys are needing to be authentic to yourself. Some of you all have a soulmate that is a water sign. For others of you, it's a fire sign. Aries feels sad, but for some of you, it's definitely a cancer. Um, and for some of you all, it's an earth sign. Okay, but here nor there. I do see a whole lot of soulmate energy. I see the energy of abundance during this time. But the way that you see things and the way that you look at negative situations, negative people, and treat them needs to change, okay? Because the same thing that will make you laugh will make you cry, baby. And understand that what you put out is what you're going to get back. I'm also seeing a lot of you guys feel stuck or trapped to situations. You feel like you have to give to a situation because you are trapped, so you kind of Put that in your mental space, and a lot of y'all is working strictly from that space. You ain't stuck to not eat motherfucking thing. If you want to leave, baby, leave. Okay. If you want, it's no. If you're stuck in your mind, but caskets don't come here. Your caskets don't come with bunk beds. So for real, for real, what is it that you really stuck with? Where you stuck at? You ain't stuck nowhere. You don't need nobody but yourself and God because you're never alone. Your angels, spirit, your ancestors move with you, baby. A lot of y'all have a lot of ancestry moving, movement. A lot of you guys are going to be covered by your ancestors. For some of you all, you're needing to extend your faith. You're needing to have stronger faith than what you do. Okay? Spirit is really trying to show you through your fruits. Through the things that you don't think that, oh, I've been putting in all of this hard ass work for nothing. Oh, this, this, I ain't getting nothing from and I'm putting it in for nothing. You ain't did not nothing for nothing. Everything, every experience that you have encountered, every person, place, or thing that came into your life came in to teach you something. It's called life. It's a journey. It's a continuous lesson. It's up to you to see it or not. Is you out here living or you just existing? What you doing? A lot of y'all got to give y'all self that love. The love that you expect other people to give you during this time, Spirit is wanting y'all to find that and give it to yourself. Okay, because for some of you, it's a blockage on how you receive love from other people. Some of y'all got somebody who love your dirty draws, but you can't see that because you're stuck in that pain of where you came from. You're stuck in the foundations of what you created within the mind. I can't trust nobody. Ain't nobody got my back. Ain't nobody gonna love me. They self, they have to get me. Everybody not have to get you, baby. It's how you perceiving it. That's going to shift during this time so that you can literally receive and allow this abundance in your life and bask in it. Some of you all will be very fertile during this time. Of those of you who don't want to have no babies, don't have it. But some of y'all are definitely dealing with your twin flames and having encounters with them. A lot of you all, you're needing to be outside because fear. For those of you who do meditate, you're going to find much, much more peace as well as if you're meditating for like to manifest something or you're meditating pretty much with intention, you're needing to uh, balance your masculine and your feminine within yourself. That's what's going to be taking place during this time. Okay. Ground yourself. Stay outside more. <clears throat> Gemini, some of you all are expecting a message from a fire sign. Okay. Intuitively, your intuition is booming right now. So a lot of you all, this could have been in the month of August. Since the month of August, you've been receiving those premonitions that some of y'all got one last fight, one last conversation, one last karmic hurdle as far as your soul growth. One last karmic hurdle to jump past. Some of y'all got two, but most of y'all got one last one. And it's a very uncomfortable conversation, but it's needing to be had because it's going to give you so much clarity, a different way of looking at things so that you can forgive I ain't tell you forget not eat motherfucking thing. Don't forget what no don't forget shit, but don't hold on to it. Extract it. Okay. I am seeing during this time some of you all, who baby, some of y'all have to make a decision. For some of y'all, it's between two fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. For some of you all, you're waiting for someone to come forward. Like some of y'all may be dealing with a fire sign, but the love of your life hurts you in a massive way, and you're waiting on this person to reach out or you waiting to reach out to this person. However, for those of you who had expectations for someone, for a fire sign to come into your life, especially if you have a saggy vibe, or maybe this could have been your intention. Some of y'all got two options, but I feel like for some of you all, you're having to end the karmic cycle of allowing this fire sign to come into your life. Because for some of y'all, this has been going on for eight years, eight months. And this person comes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. You have to love yourself a little more 
what you people gonna only do what you allow them to do. A lot of y'all are ending cycles with waiting on people. So a lot of y'all are going to be speaking your truth, your damn self. Fuck it, I'm tired of you waiting. Let me pick up this phone. Uh, Barbara, this is Shirley. Okay, look, I <laughs> get, get with the program. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but it's about you being authentic, 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 authentic with yourself. Fuck what everybody else got to say. What you want, twin? What you want? What you want? During this time, it's about you standing and rising, standing in your truths, unapologetically, okay? Because some people, it's just, we made a word the other day. I think I made it on Cancel or Taurus video, but it, some people, it's just unworkwittable, okay? Shit. Some of you all, you have a water sign coming and they want to go into a new cycle with you. I feel like this person is younger than you, but some of you all, you're releasing a lot of your burdens. Some of you all are really, really, really in your head and you're really done with that shit during this time. Some of you all, this is a new Leo coming in y'all life and some of y'all don't know how to receive this person because they came in to help you heal. They came in to transform your world. Some of you all are definitely wanting to start new, okay, possibly with an Aries, but some of you are having to end one cycle with one fire sign in order to deal with another one. Some of you are having to end a cycle with a fire sign in order to move forward, possibly with a water sign as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is going to be younger than you, possibly with this water energy. Some of you all are in your head about taking a leap of faith during this time. But you're really needing to jump off the cliff. What else you got to lose? Ain't nowhere else to go but up. Okay? Ain't nowhere else to go but up. Some of you all, I'm not seeing a whole lot. A lot of y'all are keeping a lot of y'all feelings to y'all self during this time. Y'all playing chess with people. you just like, I'm, I'm, I'm over the shit. Some of you all are in your head about ending the cycle and moving forward into a new one because you're holding on to the hurt from the last cycle that you're ending, baby. And it needs to die. It needs to die. You have to move away from that. Some of you all are going through a very massive transformation during this time. Some of y'all are going to hone your spiritual abilities during this time. Yep. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a water sign, new water sign. This could be a Scorpio, okay? I feel like in order for this to move forward, baby, you got to let that hurt go. Or whoever this is in your energy, your partner needs to let this hurt go. Some of y'all have abandonment issues or rejection issues. You don't want to be alone. So you put up with somebody's bullshit. Because you have a fear of being alone. During this time, Venus is going to force you to face that fear. Because I'm going to be honest with you. For some of you all, especially if you've been fighting continuously with a water sign or a fire sign, y'all, somebody's going to go. Somebody's going to take that leap of faith and move forward because they want newness, okay? But some of you all, you're getting ready to move away from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like if you're dealing with another air sign, this person really, really puts you in your fucking head. Some of y'all are moving away, period. Just wanting to be moving up and just up and go. And I don't feel like anything's wrong. Some of y'all are in y'all head about it. Well, what is everybody else going to think? And what about that person? What about that person? What about that person? Think about this. If the shoe was on the other foot, and them people who you trying to please had to fucking leave you for their for for their to be to walk in their best vibration, their best self. Do you think well, what you know about these people that get they would give three fucks about you in order for you in order for them to stop what they're doing? Think about it. It's time for real shit, man. And with my twins, you know y'all is y'all are realist. Y'all gonna keep it one hundred, okay? Y'all gonna keep it one hundred. Yeah, some of y'all have something new, but you're needing to leave someone who you've possibly been dealing with possibly for the last eight years, eight months. For some of you all, four years, four months. For some of you all, it's been five. But yeah, some of y'all are internally conflicted because you're not wanting to see the root of why you put up with this person shit. And it's to be honest with you, it's a fear of being by yourself. When you're never, you may be lonely, but you're never alone. Spirit always fucking got you. And if you think about it, for some of you all who've been thinking about worrying about my finances, my finances, let me tell y'all, some of y'all have a very negative ass entity in y'all world. You're getting ready to see it because the moon, the moon and this Venus retrograde and Scorpio finna illuminate some shit. But what I will see, which is why I see this here, which is why I see this here, this death and rebirth, this is why this is here. You are on the brink of nothing but new shit, great shit, holy shit, divine shit, beautiful shit. 
abundance. However, you don't want to get that monkey off your back. Get that monkey off your back because when you get that, for some of y'all, this person is a financial blockage. Think about when they leave, what your life look like. When they come back, what your life look like. Some of y'all got somebody really, really, really mind fucking you. And not only are they mind fucking you, but they taking your peace, baby. Let me tell you something. Peace is expensive. <laughs> some people say it don't cost nothing. Yeah, it's free. But when you get lost in the sauce, it's expensive. Because you got to find your way out of that. For some of you all who are thinking about starting a new business, what are you scared for? What you worry about, people going to say, fuck, baby, you walking out as the queen. Let me give y'all a helpful phrase when you worried about people thinking about you and your money and people not accepting what you do, how you get your money. Oprah ain't got no motherfucking friends. When have y'all seen Oprah in a gang of selfies or TMZ in her motherfucking business like that? You know why people do what you allow them to do. You understand? People going to do what you allow them to do. Some of you all, huh, it's crazy I talked about that work. Some of you all, when you let go, this is your new beginning. For those of you who just don't want to jump into no relationship, during this time, whatever you put your creativity into, whatever you put your faith into, whatever it is, my baby, that you've been working on, it's going to bring you beautiful, solid beginnings. Y'all have a Y'all have an ace of the ace of uh, pinnacles here. Y'all have the ace of cups here. Some of y'all, y'all internally fighting y'all self about a cancer. If you want your crabby, if you want your crabby baby, go get your crab. What you waiting on? You standing in your own way. Or whoever you dealing with, they standing in your way. You're going to let them and continue this shit? You're going to continue the cycle of crazy and unhappy or not? Nah? Because it's time to be happy, baby. And the only person standing in your way is you because you're allowing people to stand in your way. Be accepting of love. Be accepting to the things that build you. And don't feel like everybody got intentions on coming into your world because for some of y'all, it is like a self-imposed prophecy. You literally are manifesting this shit with people that you deal with. But everybody coming to your life, baby, some come in as a blessing and a lesson. Some are or blessing or a lesson. Some people is both, but it's up to you to discern the difference. This is what I got for y'all between the 16th and the 31st of October. And I really want y'all to really, 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 really think about your happiness first. You first. Okay? I love y'all, my babies. I send y'all much healing, much love, many, 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 many blessings, much abundance, much prosperity, and truth with yourself and others. Namaste, babies. Until November. Bye, y'all.